Hello there, it's Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace and somebody's hero.co.uk. We've got a nice little New Year's present for you here. It's totally free. It's called the EMP Child Theme Configurator. Now you might have seen something similar around the World Wide Web. Uh, there's a few out there and there's also a couple of plugins that you can make your child theme from. But what we thought was we'd uh, make sure that it's compatible with Divi, compatible with Extra, and guess what? Compatible with WordPress 2015 theme as well. Now we're looking at uh, expanding upon that, but it's gonna take some research and uh, it may turn into a premium item, you never know. But uh, we're trying to keep it free as much as we can. So uh, obviously we're excited about this. I'm just going to show you very, very quickly how to make your own child theme and the process of uploading it to your own website. So let's go. Uh, I want this to be called Somebody's Hero, and there it is. I want it to be a Divi theme for the moment. My version number I can make 1.01, which is fine. And my company name is obviously Somebody's Hero as well. And it's me, Andrew Palmer. And I want my footer text. You can put anything you like here, but for example, designed by and then your footer link with your HTTP or your HTTPS, whatever you've got, somebody's hero.co.uk. Watch for spelling mistakes because I'm one for typing a little bit too quickly. Just to show you I'm not perfect. And my footer link, and again, I've done that the, the wrong way round. I want this somebody's hero here. And uh, my footer link is the one with HTTP somebody's hero and I can go to uh, choose file and I can load up my own theme image uh, there's no real size restriction on this there is an image restriction as it's only JPEG but if you keep it to a width of 500 you should be about right now you can also add your own custom CSS below so what that means is that if you've got anything particular that you use all the time on child themes that you're generating. And it's a great idea just to pop it in there. So if, as an example, I've just copied the CSS that I've got on my own website, which was which was made by Gino Quiroz, and it's the Pacific theme. So I don't want to muck up my theme when I install um, this child theme on there. I want all the CSS to be the same, uh, but I want the child theme to be called my own, which is fair enough, isn't it? So I want to go now and get child, get my child's theme. You can see that I've downloaded it a couple of times. And there it is, uh, and I will now upload that to my own computer, my own uh, website. So bear with me while I log in. So I've logged into my website and I've navigated to appearance themes and you can see that I've got the Pacific Grove the child theme in there from Gino. I've got Divi, which is my main theme, and I've got 2015. I only ever keep one copy of a WordPress theme there, just in case I have to do a rollback. So I'm going to add a new theme. And obviously it's somebody's hero, which I've called it. I'm going to install that new theme, just like you would uh, any other and I'm going to activate it immediately. It tells me that my parent theme is, is currently installed, so that's a good thing. And you can see there, I've got the theme details there. It's a child theme of Divi. It's built using the uh, elegantmarketplace.com child theme configurator, and it's called Somebody's Hero. So that's a great thing if you want this for uh, a client. You can visit the site as well, just to make sure that everything works properly. It will do, because I've got the same CSS in there as, uh, as Gino anyway, so it's not gonna muck about too much. And um, you can revert back to your own theme after you've, you've done this for an experimentation purposes, which is what I'm going to do now. Might as well do it while you're here. I hope you've enjoyed going through how to build your own child theme through the child theme configurator. And um, while I'm closing down the website, I just want to confirm really the reasons for having your own child theme. You can you can buy them obviously from Elegant Marketplace and other theme market stores. Uh, you can make your own through using a plugin or other child theme builders out there, or you can use our configurator. It's completely up to you. But what I would like you to do is consider 
why you should make a child theme. It protects you, it protects your designs, and it also gives you uh, an, a, a really good way to brand your business. So if you use our child theme configurator, don't forget to put up a nice branding, a piece of branding there, and your clients will know uh, who you are, where you are, and why you are. Yeah.